Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. I'm Chris with the K. There's a link to my website in the description of this video, as well as a link to all the notes of everything I'm going to do today. So let's jump right in. Let's say we wanted to print something from our shell. So for example, I've got a file called file.txt. I can go like that and it prints it to the screen, but let's say I want to send it to my printer. I've done videos in the past, you just use LPR. I print that, it's going to print whatever default settings, and you can give it other settings, but whatever your default settings for your default printer are, it's going to print there. So if I was just run this, it would print now. I'm not going to print it right now. Um, but it's going to print it in black and white. So for example, that is just a black and white file. But let's say I have something like my list command, right? I have this set to be in color. Let's say I want to print this list to my printer in color. Now I could run that command and say LPR. It will print that list, but it will print it in black and white. And that goes, that holds true for pretty much all my shell outputs that have colors to them. When I print them, even though my printer is set by default to print to color, the shell is going to convert them all just to plain text. So I wanted to print a code file that I have with color codes to my printer. And I wanted to do it straight from the shell. And the only way I found was to do some conversion. So there's a few steps here. First thing we need to do, we need two programs. So if you're on a Debian-based system, you can just run sudo apt install. We're going to install aha and wkhtml2pdf. I already have those installed, so I'm not going to run that. If you're not on a Debian-based system, use whatever your pack package manager you normally use. Okay, so again, I could list and dump this to a file like files.txt, that's not going to do anything for me. It's just going to be black and white. I can now, you know, cat that file, uh, .txt to LPR, and again, it will print it in black and white. Uh, but if I wanted to get a color version of that, something I can do is I can use the ls command and say dash dash color equals always, and I can pipe that into aha. And what aha is going to do is give me HTML HTML output with styles for all the different parts so they're in color. If I was to take that same command and instead of printing it to the screen, I could put it in a file called colors.html. I can then use xdg open to open colors HTML. And when I do that, it opened up on my other screen here. Give me a second here. Here we go. This is what it looks like. It's an HTML file. Now, obviously, I can print it from here, and it will print in color, but that's not what I want to do. I want to print it directly from the shell. Well, again, if I tried to print this, since, since HTML is just plain text, if I was to cat out colors.html, it's just going to be that. It will print this if I try to print that. So what do I do? Well, I'm going to convert it to a PDF file, which is a port portable document file. It's designed to be portable for printing. So that's where the wkhtml.2pdf does. It takes HTML pages and converts them to a PDF. So what I'm going to do here to do it all in one command, again, this is all my notes. I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm saying list with a dash dash color equals always, okay? Uh, if you don't do that, it will come out in black and white. Then we're going to convert it to HTML, but we're not putting it into a file. We're going to pipe it into WH, uh, sorry, WK HTML to PDF. And this dash means take the in standard input. So we're not looking at a file. We are looking at the input, and we're going to create a PDF file called colors.pdf. Now I can open up that. I am, since I'm using xorg, I can use xdg xdg open colors that PDF and that's what this file looks like you can see it's a PDF file with the colors now I could then say cat colors dot PDF and pipe that into LPR and it would print in color but I just created a file I didn't need to I don't want to create any extra files I want to take my list and I want to print send it to the printer so instead of saying colors dot PDF I'm gonna say dash so what this is saying again list all the files in the current directory be sure to always use color, because even though by default mine shows colors, uh, it won't pass it along to the pipe if you don't say dash dash color equals always. This is going to convert it to HTML, but instead of putting it in a file, it's going to pass it to this. This is going to read it from standard input, put it in standard output, and then I just say LPR. So now I can do that, and it will print at my printer in color. Great. Uh, so that's one way to do it. Let's look at some other examples. Uh, I can do, I have things alias, so I do LL and it does a long list. And I can do the same thing there 
I can, again, pass it, since it's just aliased of the same command, I can say uh, dash dash always, and here I'll just put it into a file so we can see it, and then I will xdg open that, and you can see what it looks like in long format. And now, let's say we want to do other commands, so like htop, right? htop, this is in color, let's say I want to get that. Well, some of these letters are in in, uh, in white, so they actually show up white. So we want to tell it, one, to use black as a background. Not great for printing, uh, but we're going to put it in a PDF that way so you can see, and you can always change that later on. You can change the color schemes of stuff in here. Uh, but we're gonna do that, and we're also gonna say dash fix line. Since this is a moving program, I think is, that's what this is for. But we're just gonna say htop. We want htop to open and then immediately close. And the way you do that, According to notes directly from the AHA website, we're going to echo Q. So basically we're saying the Q command. So that's, it's going to echo Q right into HTOP. HTOP is going to open, see the Q, and exit. But before it does, it's going to dump all its output to AHA. We're going to say dash dash black to make the background black. And we're going to say dash dash line fix. We're then going to convert that to a PDF. And we're going to dump what came in as standard input into a file here. But of course, we could send it right to our printer. But again, black background is going to use up a lot of ink. But just to show you what that looks like, this is what it looks like. So now I have a color PDF that I could print like so. Again, uh, if I was to leave out the dash dash black and run that, this program actually works out okay. It looks a little funny, we got the gray here. I have had some programs uh, where white things, this automatically converted the white to, to black. Uh, but just be aware that certain things might not show up proper if they if they want a black background. Another common program is bat. So let's say I was to run bat or bat cat depending on your system and I wanted to show the output of my go.sh which is a shell script file, right? This will show it to me in color, right? Color coded. Well, if I was to try to pipe that into aha it will lose its color coding. So what I want to do here for bat is I'm going to say, similar to the ls command, uh, dash dash color, but instead of equals, it's just a space and always. So now we do that, and now we can pass that to aha, and then we can put that into our uh, wk html pdf, and we'll dump that into our colors file there. If I was to run that now, so let's just do this command. You can see this is an example I was saying where some things are invisible because it, it's it's looking for them and they're they're already white and the background's white, so it didn't quite do the right thing. Uh, and right now the only option I know is to pass it that black line option. So the command for this, and again, all this is in the notes and the links in the description. We're gonna say bat, again, or bat cat, depending on your system, dash dash color, space, always, the name of your script, we're gonna pipe that into aha. We're gonna say give it a black background. We're gonna say uh, line fix. Again, uh, I don't know if that's really necessary for bat. That's just what I have in my notes. Uh, but htop, because it's a constantly changing, I believe that, that fixes the lines. Otherwise, when I ran it without that, everything came out on like the top two lines. Hope that makes sense. Uh, and then we're going to convert it to a PDF and then xdg open that file. And this is what we get. Again, if you tried to print this right now, you're gonna use up a lot of black ink. Uh, but I hope that I am at least pushing you in the right direction for trying to print basically the output of commands that give you color coding to your printer without having to open up some GUI application. That, that was my goal. And I hope that if that's your goal, uh, this helps out. If not, I hope you learned something new. Maybe you just wanted to get the output of your shell into an HTML file or into a color PDF file. So now you know ways of doing that. There are other ways of doing it, but these are two tools that are in the default repositories for Debian and seem to work well. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. Again, there's a link in the description, as well as a link in the description to a paste bin with all the notes where you can just copy and paste everything I've done in this video to see how it works out. Of course, you have, we'd have to create your own example files if you're trying to do a script file. <laughs> uh, also, I have a Patreon page and I have a handful of supporters there. It'd be great if you could become one of them. Check out the links in the description of this video as well as on my website, again, filmsidechris.com, Chris with a K. There's a support section where you can support me through PayPal, Patreon, LibrePay, and buy me a coffee. I knew there was a fourth one. Uh, so 
Uh, I do actually have a Libre Pay supporter. I get, I think, 62 cents a week uh, after they take out their fees, if there are fees. Anyway, I, I just know I get a notification. I get 62 cents every week. I don't know who that is, but I thank them for their support because even that 62 cents could add up if I got enough supporters. If you like my videos, keep on watching. Think about liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and uh, supporting. I hope that you have a great day.